The journey of electricity begins in power plants where it is generated from thermal, wind, hydro or solar energy. The generator electricity is transmitted through transmission lines. To reduce the losses, the electricity is transmitted at very high voltages. As a consumer, we cannot use this high voltage electricity. All our electrical devices may even burst into flames if an over voltage is delivered to the circuit. So before delivering it to the consumers, the high voltage is converted into low voltage. Transformers achieve all these conversions from high voltage to low voltage and vice versa. Hi, I am Vanilla. In this video, I am going to talk about electrical transformers. You all might be familiar with magnets and the fact that it attracts iron. This happens due to the force of attraction. This force is applied by the magnet to the iron and hence it is called the magnetic force. The fascinating thing is the iron gets attracted to the magnet even before the magnet touches the iron. It means there is an invisible field produced by the magnet around it. Not all metals are magnets, but when current flows through any metals, it becomes a magnet. In other words, we can say that when a current flows through a conductor, a magnetic field is created. Bending a conductor into multiple closely spaced loops to form a coil enhances this effect. The strength of the magnetic field is proportional to the current flowing in the conductor. If the current is increased, the magnetic field strength is also increased. If the current is decreased, the strength decreases. We have DC current and AC current. Can you guess what happens when a DC current passes through the conductor? The magnitude of the DC current is constant, which means the strength of the magnetic field will also remain constant. As the magnitude of AC current varies, the strength of the magnetic field will also increase and decrease and changes its polarity as the current changes its direction. Let's just take another coil of wire and connect it to a light bulb. The bulb doesn't glow since there is no power supply or battery connected to this network. But if we bring this circuit closer to our previous circuit, the bulb glows. Note that there is no contact between our first circuit and our second one. Then how does this bulb glow? The current flow in the second coil is due to the change in magnetic field in the first coil. This is called mutual induction. Transformer works on this principle. It all occurs due to the change in magnetic field. As I said earlier, the change in magnetic field occurs only in the AC circuit. Since the magnetic field is constant in DC, the bulb doesn't glow. It means there is no mutual induction in DC. That's the reason transformers can only work on AC and cannot be operated on DC. The coil is wound around a magnetic core to increase the concentration of magnetic lines that links the secondary coil. The transformer has a core of ferromagnetic material with high permeability. I have mentioned that the transformer is used to convert high voltage to low voltage and vice versa. How do you think this conversion takes place? In a transformer, this coil is also referred as winding. The coil in the first circuit is called the primary winding and in the second circuit is called the secondary winding. The amount of voltage induced depends on the number of turns of the winding. If the primary and the secondary windings have the same number of turns, the voltages at primary and the secondary will be the same in the ideal case. If the number of turns in the primary winding is less than the number of turns in the secondary, then the secondary side voltage will be higher than the primary side voltage. Since this kind of transformer raises the output voltage, it is called the step up transformer. Similarly, if the primary winding has a greater number of turns than the secondary, then the secondary side voltage will be lower than the primary side voltage. Since this kind of transformer reduces the output voltage, it is called a step down transformer. Even though the presence of magnetic core increases the efficiency, there is still a lot to improve. One of them is eddy currents. Eddy current is the circulating current that flows in the core of the transformer. We only need current to flow through the windings. 
we don't want any current to flow in the core energy will be lost through eddy currents and results in heating the core to avoid this instead of using a single piece of solid core we can use a laminated core it means thin slices of insulated silicon steel materials are glued together and compacted into a solid core according to the construction of the core and the winding arrangements the transformer can be divided into two types the core type transformer and the shell type transformer the core type transformers are the ones we discussed earlier here the windings surround the core this means the primary and the secondary windings are placed on the side limbs to make it simple in this example i have placed the primary and the secondary winding on the separate limbs of the core but actually these two limbs will carry equal parts of primary and secondary windings in order to reduce the leakage flux these coils are insulated from one another in the shell type transformer the core surrounds the winding this means the primary and the secondary windings are placed on the central limb a three phase transformer can be connected either by connecting three single phase transformers or a single three phase transformer the advantage of building a single three phase transformer is that for the same kva rating it will be smaller cheaper and lighter than three individual transformers connected together because the core and the windings are used more effectively no transformer is an ideal transformer and hence each will incur some losses and most of which gets converted into heat in order to stop the transformer from overheating and becoming an explosion hazard we need a cooling system there is a dry type transformer and oil immersed transformers dry type transformers use air as a cooling medium the oil immersed transformers use transformer oil as a cooling medium they are used in power distribution or electrical substations to get the clear cut idea about the application of transformers watch this power grid video bye see you in my next video